botulinum toxin type A, or Botox as it's commonly known, is one of the strongest poisons around. Botox is used commercially to reduce wrinkles by paralyzing the facial muscles on the forehead. The Smooth Line Cosmetic Treatment Clinic in Zurich treats up to 30 clients with a substance every day. It's a worldwide trend, but Switzerland has one of the world's highest rates of Botox use per capita. Treating wrinkles with Botox affects the brain. That's the finding of a recently published study by the University of Zurich. Research leader Arko Gosch demonstrates how the study was carried out. The team measured electric signals inside the brain before and after Botox treatment. The most important things we have found are regarding how the brain responds to a very small loss of movements. And secondly, how a very small loss of movement in one body part can affect a body part very far away. If we wrinkle our forehead or raise our eyebrows, we stimulate our brain via the many nerves in our face. The area marked in red processes these sensory stimuli. When we inject Botox, or Vistabel, as the substance is often called in Europe, it paralyzes the muscles on our forehead for several months. This paralysis also reduces the amount of impulses sent to the brain. The area in red becomes less stimulated, and this also affects the area next to it, marked in blue, which is connected to the hands. Six months after Botox treatment, the researchers have come to the conclusion that the brain reacts less to impulses coming from the hand than before. So what it means is essentially that a small cosmetic paralysis of the face may be altering the way we feel touch using our hands. In what kind? So, so that is again a very difficult question to answer because we, we, all that we know is that the brain is responding differently to touch than it did before the cosmetic treatment. Now exactly how you utilize that difference in your daily life, we just can't answer that right now. According to SmoothLine's Dan Isolin, botulinum toxin is one of the most researched active pharmaceutical ingredients in the world. He doubts the significance of the Zurich study and says more test groups would be needed. One knows that when the muscles relaxed, other feedback mechanisms kick in. But one can't deduce from this alone that this has a positive or negative effect. A Botox treatment takes between 30 minutes and an hour. It can cost around 500 Swiss francs. When presented with the study findings, Botox producer Allergan told Swiss Television that it had not yet observed any loss of sensitivity in hands after a Botox treatment. The University of Zurich is continuing its research.